in this episode we are going to talk about dengue fever how can we prevent it how does it spreads and we would also like to clear any misconceptions misinformations which is very common nowadays regarding dengue fever we definitely need to be concerned and careful about it but not to get panic and get scared dengue fever is actually caused by dengue virus which belongs to a flavivirus genus it's a self limited infections which may manifest without any symptoms which is also called as asymptomatic to severe dengue infections and the most important thing is that most of the infection they remain asymptomatic only very the minority of the groups gets symptomatic of dengue infection it presents with fever which usually starts 3 to 7 days after bite of an aedes mosquito apart from fever it manifests as headache body ache joint pain rash and bleeding fever may last for 3 to 7 days but what everyone is worried is platelet count so usually in dengue fever platelet starts falling on day 3 and by day 6 a rise in platelet count is observed so what you need to be careful about after this febrile phase there comes a critical phase so it's important for the general public to be aware about this critical phase during this critical phase patient may develop some danger signs or warning signs these are pain abdomen any persistent vomiting bleeding manifestations breathlessness due to fluid accumulations we need to monitor hematocrit and platelet count because any rise in hematocrit or fall in platelet count is a danger sign it's highly recommended that in case anyone gets these danger signs they should immediately visit a hospital or consult a physician for further advice and management dengue has got four serotypes dengue 1 2 3 and 4 and all these four serotypes are found in india and they are closely related but they don't provide any immunity against another serotype so there is always a risk of dengue fever again by different serotype and what's most important is that the second attack of dengue fevers because of exaggerated immune response there is increased risk of severe dengue in the next in the second infection dengue infection that dengue fever is transmitted by the bite of mosquito aedes mosquito and this aedes mosquito usually breed in stagnant water and bites during day time and this disease is prevalent in the urban areas because the breeding of this mosquito is common in those areas to avoid mosquito bite you should wear long sleeve clothing use of mosquito repellents and insecticide treated bed nets should be used so apart from this preventive measures they you should also be careful that all the symptoms may not be because of dengue there are some other diseases which may have similar presentations as of dengue they are like malaria chikungunya enteric fever influenza scrub typhus and leptospirosis these diseases may have similar presentations as of dengue fever so the basic investigation is complete blood count it will give a fair about idea about the disease what we usually expect is a low wbc count which is we expect some kind of fall in the total leukocyte count and the fall in platelet count the specific test for dengue fever is dengue ns1 antigen which is recommended to be done within 5 days of fever 
and dengue IgM and IgG can be ordered after 5 days of fever. There is one more test which is called as dengue RT-PCR. Dengue RT-PCR is a costly test and it's usually done during the first 5 days. There is one more test uh, which is called as IPF which is usually available in few centers. It's importance in predicting the rise in the platelet count. If IPF is high, then we may expect a rise in platelet count in the coming few days. Yes, those dengue fever which they don't have, patients don't have any warning signs can be managed at home. They are advised to take rest, drink plenty of fluids to remain hydrated, and to fever control, a tablet of paracetamol can be taken. You may also do cold or tepid sponging in case the fever rises and avoid aspirin, ibuprofen or any other NSAIDs or any intramuscular injections. This dengue fever is itself a self-limited illness and platelet increases on its own. Usually by day 6 of fever platelet starts increasing and those who are vegetarians they may require vitamin B12 supplements because vitamin B12 is found only in the non-vegetarians or dairy products and vegetarians usually lack vitamin B12 and lack of vitamin B12 may also cause thrombocytopenia which is low platelet count. There is no significant medical evidence to recommend them. There is no any scientific evidence behind that so we don't recommend their uses to increase platelet count neither does any any latest standard guidelines recommend their uses neither indian guidelines nor does the world health organization guidelines issued by the world health organization recommends their uses so that's all about dengue fever have a great day thank you bye bye 15th World Wonka Rural Health Conference.